Good morning, everyone. I'm Stephen Brundrett from NASDAQ. It's the start of a great new week. The sun is shining, so I'd like to introduce Eric Knoll, our executive host today, to welcome everyone. Eric? Good morning, everyone. I'm thrilled uh, and very pleased today to welcome Priscilla Sands, head of school at Springside School, and Dick Kane, uh, president of the Springside Board of Trustees, and president, chairman, and founder of Urban Outfitters, a NASDAQ-listed company, as well as students, families, and all of our distinguished guests to ring today's opening bell right here at the crossroads of the world at Times Square, New York. As you know, I'm a proud parent of a Springside student and a trustee, so this is doubly important for me. So let's give a round of applause to kick off today's ceremony. Springside affirms its choice to be a school for girls and young women. Here, students develop the power to think, the confidence to act, and a sense of responsibility for one another. In our diverse community, students learn to honor their differences and to seek common ground so that they will live productively and justly in the worlds that they inhabit. All college preparatory schools expect their students to excel in a rigorous academic program. Springside asks more, that girls discover how they learn, that they take intellectual delight in their education, and that they gain the courage and integrity to negotiate the breadth of their complex futures. In every way, Springside School educates girls and young women to develop their capacities for leadership in the 21st century. A quick word about Urban Outfitters, which I have to do as a matter of a as a matter of policy. <laughs> Urban Outfitters exemplifies a NASDAQ-listed company. By the way, I'm proud to do it as well. Uh, Dick built Urban Outfitters into a leading retail brand that is growth-oriented, innovative, and has redefined the retail marketplace. We are proud to have Urban Outfitters listed on NASDAQ and to share the ideals that Dick leads so well at Urban Outfitters. Priscilla, Dick, I'd like to salute you on your continued success at one of the oldest schools for girls in Philadelphia. Uh, we're proud to be your partner, working together, driving new ideas, driving growth, and this morning we salute your leadership. Uh, now please join me in welcoming Priscilla Sands, head of school at Springside School, and Dick Kane, president of the Springside Board of Trustees. Thank you, Eric. In a few moments, we are going to ring the bell that will open the NASDAQ. And at Springside School, we have been ringing the bell, a clarion call for education for over 130 years. But we in education and you in business and commerce have undergone tremendous tumult in the market. It has been a challenge for all of us. But at the same time, we have experienced the disruptive force and challenging force of technology that is moving at warp speed. At Springside, we have our very own genius bar, girls who are committed to teaching teachers, to teaching themselves, to not only integrating technology, which we never say any longer, because technology now is a seamless part of our curriculum. We must all be bold, we must be nimble, we must be flexible and creative. We also know that the global economy will be challenged and fueled by the language of math and science, and we cannot afford to be left behind. Our girls are not only going to shatter glass ceilings, they are going to shatter every ceiling imaginable. We know this because we watch our youngest students in their own physics labs, physics labs created for four-year-olds. And that said, we also know that great cultures are defined by their music and their art, and we do away with these in education at our peril. The humanities programs pave the way by telling us the story of our past so that we can direct our future. And we remain inspired by the words and literature of those voices from antiquity all the way to the present. At Springside, 
we also encourage our children to tread more gently on their planet. If you came to Springside, you would see rubber boots snuggled into their cubbies along with sneakers. And you watch our committed children cha uh, challenging themselves to compost, to recycle, to reuse, to monitor the water supply. We have even installed the largest single solar panel array in the city of Philadelphia, and we are so proud of our work. So I am proud to stand here with leaders of energy and commerce, of business people all over the world, proud to be part of this system. And as you go off in the day to trade in futures, we will be directing the future. This next generation of children is certainly worth the investment. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Priscilla. I'd like to thank all the trustees and alumni that are here today from Springside School. It's a pleasure uh, having you here, and thank you for your support. I've had the distinct pleasure of being associated with these two fine organizations, NASDAQ and Springside School, for the better part of two decades. And while, of course, there's many differences between a school and the free market system here at NASDAQ, I can tell you there's one similarity, and that, to reinforce what Priscilla said, is commitment to technology. Like NASDAQ, Springside finds its competitive advantage in its commitment and investment in technology. So I hope today, for all the trustees are here and the alumni are here, that this will reinvigorate you and recommit you to Springside School and Springside School's quest to be the leader in technology in girls' schools in Philadelphia. So with that, thank you very much and welcome. Present both of you this uh, chromatic crystal for this morning's opening bell. Thank you very much.